Okay, so I'm going to be making one of Janice and Charles' most famous dress. It's called the Clover. So I'm going to be using trash bags again. But here's the thing though, the Clover dress is obviously black and white. But guess what, this is black and there is black on it. But let's just try to get the white on. So basically, well, like the black was actually a piece of the skirt, but I was mistaking it as a ribbon. But anyways, I'm just going to have an extremely thick ribbon run around it. But you know what, that's for decoration. But to get this trash bag to become a white one, because I don't have giant white trash bags. So to make this thing white, we here are just going to tape sheets of white paper on top. So basically, yeah, I'll show you the layout of how many you should be putting on your trash bag. So yeah. Okay, so this is the layout of the sheets of paper. So as you can see, it looks white now. But um, but here's a little thing though. Yeah, I just realized this, but I feel like the hem of the bag is actually like a hobble skirt and it's getting smaller instead of getting bigger. But you know what, that doesn't matter because we're gonna insert darts anyways. In fact, that's actually the next step. Okay, so now as you can see, it's white now. Yay! So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into rectangles. So as you can see, there's like the seam over here, so I'll cut that, I'll cut this, I'll cut that. So basically I'm going to cut them into rectangles, but guess what? The waist seam, you do not cut up here, so it's still connected. And also, do not try to, to cut them into rectangles and then put them back together. I'll show you why. Because you need these ribbons to tie it around your waist. Anyways, this is really confusing. But we need to, to to cut it so we can insert darts. If you don't understand what I'm saying, that's totally okay. Because I'm actually going to show you what it will look like. And you will see what I mean. Okay, so basically this is what I mean by you need to cut it open. But the waist seam is still connected. And as you can see, there's kind of a triangular gap. But that's because we're going to insert darts. We're going to insert paper triangular panels. And basically, we're going to do this because we want the skirt to flare out in the bottom. And we're going to use paper because paper is stiff and will hold itself out. So, yeah. So, we're just going to insert the darts and then we can move on to decoration. Okay, so basically, this is the skirt. And as you can see, there's just a big, broad ribbon running around. And on the actual design, there is. But it's actually not a ribbon. It's actually a whole entire skirt piece. But guess what, I'm too lazy to actually do that, so I just have this ribbon and now the dress is done. Yay! Okay, so this is the finished product of the dress. So yeah, I think we just need to do the bodice, and there's no hat, there's actually a broad shawl, so that's the replacement for that hat. But yeah, cut. Okay, so this is what I mean by the shoulder straps, and you can tie it in the back. So now this is done, we're gonna move on to the shawl collar thing. So you just cut out your collar and then cu cut out your shawl pieces and then, and then you know, it'll be done. So your, so your shoulder pieces just rest on your shoulders and then the collar is, you know, on your neck. And this is probably really confusing, I don't blame you, but I will show you what it will be like. Go. Oh. 